Okay, so we're ready for some bias adjustment of this little amplifier. Um, before it's possible to do bias adjustment, we need to have a look at how this amplifier is designed. So I've sketched out the essential parts for uh, the bias adjustment, the things we need to understand in order to be able to adjust the bias correctly uh, for this 300B uh, output tube. So what we have here is, well the input is going to come in here, so we have a pre-stage here, coupling capacitor, and then we inject uh, the negative bias voltage here uh, for the grid. Um, there's a little bit more circuitry out here just to stabilize the voltage and then we have our potentiometer here where we can adjust the uh, bias voltage uh, for the grid. And yes, the tube is here and we have our output transformer uh, B plus up here and goes down into the plate and then we have the filament cathode. So the filament is powered by a 5 volt DC here, so there's a little bit more here, rectifier, uh, etc. Um, this comes from a separate winding on the transformer, so it doesn't uh, interfere uh, with the cathode, it will just power the uh, filament. And then we have a couple of resistors here, so this is just so we're not shorting out the uh, filament supply. And finally we have a resistor here and then we go to ground. So what we want to measure is to get the plate current, we need to measure the voltage drop across this resistor. So if we add a voltmeter across here, so I measured this resistor, it's 10.08 ohms. And if we know the resistance and we know the voltage drop, then we can just use Ohm's law here. Uh, and we'll get the uh, plate current. Another voltage we need to know is the plate voltage. So if we measure between here and here, uh, just insert a voltmeter, that will measure the plate voltage. Once we have these two voltages, uh, the plate current and the plate voltage, uh, we can calculate, again using Ohm's law, uh, we can calculate the voltage or the dissipation uh, across the tube. And we need to measure these all while we're doing our bias adjustment. So look at the 300B data sheet, we have some maximum uh, values we need to be aware of. So uh, the maximum plate voltage is 450 volts, that's across here. So hopefully it's not exceeding that. And the uh, maximum plate current is 100 milliamps. So that would be what we are measuring across here. And then the dissipation uh, in the two uh, maximum 40 watts. So we shouldn't be anywhere near these uh, uh, values. Um, but we don't know until we actually measured it. So in the data sheet, there's also a table of recommended operating conditions. So I'll, I'll, I'll just bring up the data sheet, you can have a look. Um, and then we can look up uh, some recommended conditions, try to find something that falls within uh, the voltage and, and current ranges uh, we have in our amplifier, and try to adjust it so the voltage is not gonna change, but we can, well, it might change a little bit, but the current is going to change when we adjust the bias. So we'll try to find something that uh, matches pretty well within the uh, recommended uh, operating conditions. So another thing in the table is that we can get an idea of the performance if we know the impedance of the output transformer. So I already measured the impedance, I just used uh, an impedance uh, analyzer, I just put a load on the output, uh, 8 ohm load across, and and just measure the impedance on the uh, primary side of the output uh, transformer. So I came to a value of around 3.3 kilo ohm. So we can use that as well, uh, look up in a table and get an idea of what kind of performance to expect based on 
I'll play voltage and I'll play current. So let's have a look at that. So before I power up the amplifier, I just want to show this little device I have here. Uh, it is basically to do current limiting uh, on mains powered devices. So when working on a tube amplifier, especially when you just made some changes, it's a good idea to use a device like this. The way it works is we have these light bulbs. They're just gonna be in series with the actual output load. So uh, we have the mains coming in here. It goes through uh, a little box here. And then we have, uh, it's gonna go through in series uh, with these light bulbs and then come out and then to the output here and then we have a, a, a watt meter here just to give an idea of what uh, the, the consumption is like and I have here so I can actually switch in uh, multiple uh, light bulbs uh, so these are going to be switched in in parallel uh, with each other but in series with the mains so in case there's a short on the output, all that's going to happen is that uh, the light bulb is just going to light up and instead of uh, explosions and burning wires and all dangerous things, we're just going to have a light bulb that's going to light up and then we know, okay, uh, something is not right. Um, it's a good device for safety, uh, but keep in mind it does not provide any isolation or anything like that. Uh, you still need an isolation transformer to uh, increase safety, but this generally uh, means you're not going to have exploding uh, components or wires or burning out output uh, power transformers and things like that. Um, just want to show this really quickly. Okay, let's get to the amplifier. So I've hooked up a few multimeters. Uh, so what we're going to be looking at here is this is the mains voltage on the small one over here. Then we're going to have the plate voltage on the big one here. And then we're going to have the voltage across our 10.08 ohm resistor showing over here. So let me try switch everything on. This one is AC. Yep. And we are ready. So I like to do it like this, so I don't have to fiddle around with probes uh, inside the amplifier while it's powered on. Uh, it makes things a little bit safer. Um, just hook up some clips, uh, as many multimeters as you need, and then you can power it on. Uh, do your measurements, do uh, your adjustments, and plus when we measure the uh, plate voltage we know whether the <coughs> main capacitors are charged or not. Okay, so we see the main voltage here, so it's about 220 volts dropping a little bit uh, just while the uh, capacitors are charging up uh, because of the light bulbs here give a slight voltage drop uh, but we can factor that in so just let it warm up you don't want to do uh, any adjustments too quickly just give it some time to warm up Okay, so I think things have warmed up. So I'm just going to write down these numbers here. So the plate voltage, 358 volts. Um, the input voltage, we have a slight drop because of the light bulbs, uh, but it's close enough to 220. And then we have the voltage across, the voltage drop across our resistor, 0.6. Nine four. 
So looking at the table, um, you can see we have about 350, 360 volts uh, plate voltage and we know the impedance of the output transformer so it looks like a good compromise is going to be something around uh, 60, 60 milliamps uh, plate current would be a good number so actually this is a little bit higher now uh, it's probably more like uh, 65 uh, milliamps so we really want to adjust that down just a little bit um, and that will give us a plate dissipation around 20-21-22 uh, watts so we have to keep in mind that this voltage will go up a little bit and we have to keep in mind as well that uh, the mains voltage is not always um, stable the voltage can go up and down uh, five ten percent so when we make our adjustments we need to keep in keep in mind the maximums uh, we're going to run into so i'm just going to adjust this a little bit so we want it around yes So this will give us about 60 milliamps across the tube. And you can see when we adjust that, the voltage goes up a little bit. It's not a huge difference. Okay, I think that's good. Um, I'm happy with this bias. So I'm just going to switch it off. And then we can watch the main capacitors discharge. It's going to take a little while. Yeah, cut the power. I can see we still got 150 volts, but they are discharging. It will take some time for them to go all the way down to zero, but once they're below 30, 40 volts, uh, it's pretty much safe.